Hi guys, this is Alan and this is Shreyas and welcome to our channel Max Tech Plus. So we created this channel to cater to the doubts and needs of Indian PC builders and gamers. So uh, as you can see in every YouTube reviewer which does a review of the graphic card or any PC component, it's done in the price point of US or any European country, basically in euros or dollars. And uh, when the price is converted in India, it differs and uh, all the PC components in India are slightly expensive than found in abroad countries, foreign countries. So today as you can see, we are going to review the MSI Gaming X 6GB edition, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. And the first impressions of this card, you can see it's got a really eye-catching twin frozer 6 shroud. That's what MSI calls the shroud. It's got red and black accents on it. And uh, coming to the cooling perspective, it's got 5 direct contact heat pipes on it and uh, the heat pipes cover the GPU as well as the VRM modules and uh, this the shroud is shared with the 1070 and the 1080 as well so on, in terms of performance of cooling I doubt there will be any way that this card is going to lag behind compared to the 1070 or the 1080 so this card is comes with a backplate which is actually missing in the founders edition and um, this card is pretty heavy as compared to the previous generation of uh, cards back um, based on Maxwell processor. So this card out uh, base clock is around 1509 megahertz and can and the maximum boost clock this card can achieve is 1809 uh, which is on uh, OC mode. It's 1280 CUDA cores. So uh, yeah. And uh, so by default this card runs on gaming mode which has a clock using the uh, game upgrade mode it's got a clock of around 1949 megahertz and uh, when i tried to oc it it was i was able to comfortably oc this card to around 2100 megahertz without facing any temperature issues so uh, in indian markets this card is priced around 26 to 28000 depending on where you stay in india so basically at this price i think so this is one of the best cards you can buy and the this 6 gig version the 1060 always also comes in a 3 gig version, which is priced at around five to six thousand cheaper than this. And uh, the difference between these cards is that the 3 gig version comes with 100 CUDA cores less. So, in pe performance, uh, the 3 gig version performs five to ten FPS less than the 6 gig version. And if you're planning to build the PC for long term, I think so. The 6 gig version is the one you should go for. Or if you are on a tight budget, then I think so you, sh you can go for the 3 gig version as they both have the same GPU processor. And like in every market, this card is compared to the AMD sibling of it, which is the RX 480. And the RX 480, as you know, is a 8 gig VRM card. And uh, compared to the 480, the 480 has uh, native crossfire support and the 480 performs better in games using the Vulkan API like Hitman and uh, in terms of overall performance I guess this card is the best and going for this card would be a safer bet compared to the RX 480. In terms of SLI this card now natively does not support SLI unlike its previous generation the 960 did support SLI and Nvidia's answer to this was that they do not want to merge the higher end of their card spectrum which is the 1070 and 1080 so they want you to rather go for a 1070 or a 1080 instead of SLIing a 1060 and um, that's one of the advantages of having an RX 480 as you can uh, crossfire it as AMD supports crossfire over this so that's it and uh, as to our benchmarks we ran it on a i5 6600K and 16 gigs of RAM so there will be no bottlenecking and the GPU will be used to its full potential and we benchmarked it on 1080p and as well as 1440p so here are the benchmarks
So after benchmarks we can see that this card at 1080p performs well over 60 fps on ultra settings so it's a very good 1080p card and on 1440p it just dies down a little bit and the performance dip is reasonable I think so at 1440p you are want to experience some performance dip and if you are ready to tone down the settings between to medium to high depending on the game you are playing I think so this card will be able to go 60 fps on those 1440p resolutions also so this card is your best bet in the sub 30,000 price bracket and anyone who's planning to build a PC in 2017 with a, with a budget of around uh, 85 to 90,000, this card is your best option. So that's been it guys. So if you liked it, please like, share and subscribe to our new channel. And if you have any build related queries, feel free to type them below. We'd love to help you. And if you have any feedback towards our video, feel free to comment it down below. We'll, your feedbacks are most welcome.